Let's learn about Notability. Notability is an awesome note-taking app that we'll use in class for homeworks, notes, and many other things. If you don't have Notability already, you can open self-service, find Notability, and install. So let's click into Notability. It's the blue icon with a pencil. On the left, we have some organization, religion, English. We can click on those to see the folders, and you can click on a folder to see the notes inside. In the middle, we see the actual notes, and if you click on one, it'll take you to that note. Let me click the back arrow. Now, before we start making notes or creating folders, we have to set up the backup. It is not that uncommon that something happens to your iPad device and you lose all of your notes. You can imagine how bad that would be. You have to start over on homeworks, research projects, papers. So let's create some backups off of the iPad so that things are stored safely in another space and then we can get that, those files back if anything happens to the iPad device itself. Click on the gear in the bottom left corner and it should bring you to this screen. Click on Auto Backup, and then click on Google Drive. We will have to sign into our account. You might see your name there already, or you may see a screen like this. Simply in, uh, enter your Sacred Heart Academy email address, including the at student.shslu.org. Click Next, and enter your password. Click Next, and then click Allow. Teachers, you can pause the video now and allow students to sign in to Google Drive. Okay, we're starting the video back up. We've all had a chance to log in to Google Drive under Auto Backup. Now click on Destination, or if you have an older version of Notability, you will see a little blue gear right here beside Google Drive. So older versions, click the gear, and then you'll see destination. Let's go, go ahead and click that button now. So now we see the folders in our Google Drive. And we already made a place to back up Notability. Click on the Notability folder in our Google Drive, and then choose the current academic school year. For me right now, it's 1920. This is where we want to back up, so let's click this button right here at the bottom, back up to 1920. Again, older versions, you may see it a little differently. You may see that backup over here on the top right. If you don't see this backup button in either place, exit out, delete Notability, and then reinstall using the self-service app. Okay, I'll click back up to 1920 at the bottom. The final thing for us to do, and I'll pause the video after I show you this last uh, piece, click on File Format, or if you have an older version, click the gear and then File Format. And then click on Note. Teachers, you can pause the video now and allow students to set up the correct destination and the correct file format. Next, click on iCloud Syncing. Then slide this to the on position. The only caveat is that if you have not signed into your managed Apple ID, you won't have access to iCloud just yet. If that's the case for you, you can simply skip this step and we'll take care of it another time. And for everybody else, we slide this to the on position. Excellent. Click OK. Now you might be wondering why we have two different backups. Here's the reason. Auto Backup sends your files to Google Drive. Google Drive will give you long-term storage. You can go looking for materials from last year or two years ago or three years ago. iCloud is a current and running backup. That's what you use if your iPad dies and you want to get back just the current year. Okay, let's hit close. Now it's time to set up some folders and organization. You don't have anything here on the left, so let me show you how to set up those classes and then some folders. Click the plus in the top left corner, 
right here. And then click, click Create Divider. I'll type the name of one of my classes. Then I click Enter on my keyboard to save. If I want to add a folder inside of this class, I click the plus, and then I click Create Subject. And I'll call my first folder, I don't know, uh, Introduction. I'm not really sure what to put yet. This is something you'll have to ask your teachers what names to give. Now I hit Enter to save. But wait a minute. Introduction is in the wrong place. I want it under World History. To move your folder, tap and hold for just a second or so. And I'm still holding down, and if I move my finger, I can relocate the folder. So let me drag it down below World History. And then I let go with my finger. OK. The final thing for us to learn is how to change the colors of these folders. Click Edit here in the top left corner. Then you can click the gear beside any one of your folders or dividers. Let me click the, uh, the gear beside Introduction. Now I can change the name, I can choose a color, I can delete, or I can close. Let me go ahead and choose a different color, and then I click Close and I'm all set. Before I can continue working in uh, Notability, I have to click Done in the top left corner. We are now done with this video, so your next task is to create a divider for every class that you have this semester. Then we want you to create two folders. We want you to create Unit 1 under the Religion Divider, and we want you to create Summer Reading under the English Divider. So take a moment now to complete that task.